row one, we are going to start by chaining 17. So 17 chains, then we'll place a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in that stitch. Then we'll chain one, skip one chain, double crochet in the next. We'll do that six times. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. That's five, and then for the last one, chain one, skip one, double crochet in that last chain. Eight double crochet and seven chain one spaces. Row two, we will chain four and turn. You can turn before the chain if you prefer. I like to turn after I chain. So that chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain. We're going to double crochet in the double crochet, chain one, skipping that space, double crochet in the double crochet, chain one, all the way down the row. Chain one, skip one, so we will double crochet in that third chain of that beginning chain. Eight double crochet, seven chain one spaces. Row three, we work similar to row two where we chain four. Double crochet in the double crochets, chain one, double crochet in the double crochet all the way down the row. And we double crochet in that third chain of the turning chain as well. So rows four through seven, you can repeat row three, and I'll meet you at that point. From this point on, we will be working on rounds around this middle square. We want to start in the same corner as we finished and we're going to be working into the spaces or those holes of the squares. So we'll start with a standing double crochet in this top corner and chain two or if you prefer you can join with a slip stitch and chain five. We'll place a second double crochet in that corner square and then starting a repeat, we'll place one more double crochet in this corner space and in each of the next two spaces, we'll place two double crochet, one and two, and again one and two double crochet, and then three double crochet in this next space or square. and two double crochet in each of the next two squares. Place one double crochet in this corner square, and then we'll work a new corner of one double crochet in that same square, chain two, one double crochet, 
and ready to start the repeat again with one more double crochet in that corner square before starting our two double crochet in the next two, three double in the next, two in the next two, and so on. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So when you've worked your way down the last side, after that last set of two double crochet in the square, we'll place one more double crochet in that corner space and join to our starting double crochet. And if you're changing colors, you can fasten off. There should be 11 double crochet per side, plus two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corners. Round nine, we will start with a standing half double crochet in any of the corners. Or if you're continuing with the same color, you'll just slip stitch into the corner space and make a starting half double crochet or chain two to act as that half double crochet. So after the first half double, we will chain two. And make one more half double crochet in that corner space. We'll make a back post double crochet around each of the next 15 stitches. One, two. So yarn over in from the back around the front out to the back again to grab that yarn and pull it through and finish a double crochet. Fifteen back post double crochet. Then ready to work the corner with a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in that corner space, and ready to work down the side with the fifteen back post double. So you can go work ahead and all the way around, joining to our starting double crochet or the chain two if you started with the chain to finish off this round. 15 back post double crochet per side and the half double crochet chain two half double crochet in the corners. Round 10 you can start with a standing double crochet and chain two or slip stitch into the corner and make a chain five which would count as a double crochet two chain and we'll place one more double crochet into this corner space. We'll chain one skip one stitch and single crochet in the next stitch skip a stitch, five double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in that stitch, skip one, single crochet in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, We'll place four double crochet in that next stitch. Chain one and four double crochet in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, single crochet in the next. Skip one stitch, five double crochet in that next stitch. Four and five. Skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, which should be the last stitch of the side. Chain one, and then in the corner space, we'll place that double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you can repeat that around the other three sides, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So when you've worked your last side, you want to make sure you work that last single crochet, chain one, before joining to our starting double crochet to end the round. There'll be two 
five double crochet fans on each side and two of the four double crochet fan, four single crochet, three chain one spaces, and then the double crochet, chain two double crochet in each corner. Round 11, we'll start with a standing half double crochet and a chain two, or slip stitch into the corner and work a chain four. We'll place one more half double crochet in this corner space, and then we'll work a back post double crochet around each of the next 24 stitches. So back post double crochet around each of the stitches on the side. Twenty four back post double crochet, and then in the corner, a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around, joining to our starting half double crochet to end the round. Twenty four back post double crochet per side with the half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in the corners. Round 12, we will start with a standing double crochet and chain two, or slip stitch into the corner and chain five. We'll place one more double crochet in that corner space, chain three, skip two stitches, and we'll make a back post double crochet around the next stitch. Chain three, skip two stitches and then we'll work a back post half double crochet around the next. Chain three, skip two stitches, back post double crochet around the next. Chain three, skip three stitches, back post half around each of the next two stitches. One, and two. Chain three, skip three stitches, back post double around the next. Chain three, skip two stitches, back post half double crochet around the next. Chain three, skip two stitches, back post double crochet around the next, chain three, oops, one, two, three, skip those last two stitches, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the corner. And we'll work that all the way around joining to our starting stitch to end the round. So round 13, we can slip stitch into the corner space and make a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, plus chain two, and then one more double crochet in that same corner. So you, or you could start with the standing double crochet, then chain two, double crochet. We'll double crochet in that first stitch, and then in the next four chain three spaces, we will place three double crochet. So three double crochet in each of these first four chain three spaces. So that's twice. three times, and four times. And then we want to work a double crochet in between these two back post half double crochet. So yarn over, make sure you go under that extra loop of the first half double crochet in the space between the two half double crochet to work that double three double crochet in each of the next four chain three spaces again. So that's one, two, 
two groups of three double crochet. Three, and one more set of three. Double crochet in this last stitch. And then ready to start the corner again with a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Oops, that didn't quite work. There's my chain two and double crochet. So again, you continue to work that all the way around, joining to our starting double crochet or the third chain of our starting chain. When you've worked your way around, you'll have that double crochet in our first stitch and then join with a slip stitch to our starting stitch. 27 double crochet per side with the double crochet, chain two double crochet in the corner. Round 14, we start with a standing double crochet and a chain two in the corner or slip stitch into the corner and chain five. We'll place another double crochet in that corner space. We'll place a back post double crochet around each of the next 29 stitches. Back post double crochet, 29 stitches down the side, working the double crochet, chain two double crochet in the corner. On the last side, after the 29th back post double crochet, you'll join to the starting stitch to end the round. Round 15, we'll start with a standing treble, chain two, treble crochet, or slip stitch to the corner and chain six to count as that first treble, chain two. We'll chain one and we're going to work 10 cross treble stitches across the side. So we yarn over twice, insert our hook into this first stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving three loops on the hook. Yarn over, we'll skip two stitches, insert hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So there's five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, four times. Chain two. Then we'll make a double crochet into these two loops that sort of cross from our first two partial stitches. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice to complete the cross treble stitch. So we'll work 10 of those down the side, yarn over twice, we'll insert into the same stitch as the second part of that first cross treble, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over once, skip two, insert in the next stitch to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four times, chain two, yarn over, insert into those two loops, pull up a loop and finish a double crochet. So you can do eight more of those and I'll meet you at that point. So when you've worked those 10 cross stitches down the side, chain one, we're ready for the next corner stitches of a treble crochet, chain two, and treble crochet. Then you can repeat that all the way around, joining to our starting treble to finish the round. 10 cross treble stitches, two chain one spaces per side with a treble, chain two treble in the corners. Standing half double crochet in the corner to start round 16 or slip stitch in the corner, chain two. We will place two more half double crochet in that same corner space, chain two, and three more half double crochet in that corner space. One, two, and three. In this next chain one space after the treble, we will place three half double crochet. Two half double in the chain two space and one half double in between the two cross stitches. 
We'll do that nine times. Two half double crochet in the chain two space, one half double between the cross stitches. And you can repeat that down the side. After the ninth repeat, you'll add two more half double crochet in that last chain two space three half double in this chain one space and then ready to work a corner with those three half double crochet chain two three half double crochet and repeat on all three sides joining to our starting half double crochet to end this round and fasten off to finish the square. 35 half double crochet per side with a three half double crochet chain two, three half double crochet in the corners.